Okay, so part two of how we became a family. So we left the village with this five day old baby and headed to town. And once we got there, I unbundled him from all of his blankets and pretty sure I felt instantly in love. Now, before I carry on with all the gorgeous baby photos, I think it is super important to not forget that the only reason I was looking after this baby in the first place was because of what had happened, which is really sad. And the best part of it is it was probably completely preventable. And in a perfect world, this baby would not have been looked after by me. I don't want to entirely romanticise adoption through our story. And although this will mostly focus on the good parts, I just wanted to drop that in here. The charity director decided to call him Adam and baby Adam became my whole world. I extended my stay in Uganda to be with him. I had to fly home quickly to the graduation but then I flew straight back out to Uganda where I stayed for a further five months. I couldn't be a volunteer forever though. When Adam was seven months old I booked a flight to return to the UK. Adam accompanied me to the airport but I cried the whole way home. Comment below for part three.